In this video, we are going to see some example with the linear regression model using TensorFlow, and we'll see the prediction output from TensorFlow. For that, I'm going to implement that in the mandatory libraries like TensorFlow, NumPy, and Matplotlib. And I'm going to use only one variable, say so x is nothing but it's a petrol per liter. That information we are going to store it. Averagely, I just take 1 to 50. We can see the sample data. So here you can see this is a simple data. We have 1 to 50 liter information we have. Now I'm going to introduce with the y variable. Y variable is a kind of predictor value which is already we have so based on that we are going to apply further operation so here y is related to x only because we are planning to create with the linear regression model so y is equal to x into 10 which means average per liter will give you 10 kilometers under some random noises i just added because it should not come with the accurate linear model so that i just adding some random noises and we'll see the output now i'm going to run that first you can see some sample data here so here it looks like linear the y-axis is related to the mileage and x-axis is related to the petrol per liter so here you can see some data but uh, we can see some outliers and noises also because we don't want to make it with the accurate because this is sample data with the simple linear regression now let's introduce tensorflow model so tf dot keras dot sequential sequential is something more it's a stack queue we just generated to perform all our hidden variables now i'm going to add one dense layer here so we will discuss the dense layer in later in detail session but here i'm going to use a dense layer for a hidden layer operations so using that i'm just passing only one unit and input shape as a one which means only one hidden layer i'm going to introduce and only one input shape as a x values i'm just going to be implemented inside as an input now i'm going to compile it and using some optimizer is called adam optimizer to create the mean square error for this model now i'm going to find out the summary so in this summary you can see this information we have introducing only one dense layer and the output should follow with only one as of and parameter just tended only with two so this is we are going to fit with the model and do some iteration with the approach <laughs> so i'm going to pass this history as a variable and i'm going to fit the model with x and y values which is already available so input and output layer and 200 epoch iteration so in this iteration which is going to be generated the data with the 200 times we we'll see the output you can see this is a 200 iteration in this x-axis it just generated the data and will producing some output so just completed with the 200 iterations so with some loss function we just implemented now i'm going to predict the model with the x which means already we have predicted the data with y variable is available what principle model is going to be predict and produce the output to us that's i'm going to find out via line number 33. so line number 11 we introduce our data with some random analysis and linear regression model with a 10 kilometer per later like that we just introduced but in line number 33 the model is going to predict some data and we are going to see that input here I am going to implement x and y as it is line number 14. What we have the same I just mentioning here in line number 35. Additionally, I am going to add the plot linear regression with the line number 38. So x and y predict model I am going to introduce. We'll see the output first. Here you can see the linear regression model, which is a generator. We have the data set in the scatter plotter, which means actual data point from X and Y. I just pointed. And in the linear regression model, just creating a one linear line, which is provided by TensorFlow model. Now we can see in the chart window, but we want to see the data in actual. So there only I just going to be used the model dot predict, and uh, I'm going to pass the input as a three for the prediction model, and we'll see the output for that. We'll see the output now, fifty five point six. That's a prediction output we are getting from the TensorFlow model but actual y-axis what we have shared here this is related to 54 so it's close to the same but we have some differences and also we are using only one input variable here so if you are going to use multiple linear regression we may get some accurate that's it thanks for watching please provide valuable feedbacks and comments